As human beings, we have that responsibility to do our best to try and make a difference. Big ideas, you know, grow out of disruption, and right now we're in a major disruption. Now is the time for us to go, OK, there's a real chance here to change things on quite a big scale, and let's come together and, and really, you know, continue to fight for that. I was sort of like making these little notes on my phone. The, the writing was getting longer and longer and the thoughts were getting deeper and deeper, so I thought, let's actually share this out and then see if other people want to share their notes. And then that, those notes then turned into videos. So we are getting quite a few people now who are actually sort of like hashtagging and sending their thoughts on how they can build a better future. And, and for me, it's very important that it's a, it's a community thing and it's something which is just a neutral platform that anybody can go in there and, and, and use. I'm not the sort of activist, but I can use whatever I can offer creatively through making videos, through writing, through making graphics and art to get that message across. So this is one I've been sort of dipping back into lately, Whole Earth Catalogue. This is the field guide. It was founded in 1968 by a guy called Stuart Brandt. This was um, almost like their Google. It was an information, the only place you'd be able to find this type of information. There's a lot of sort of great ideas that were sprung from this this era. So this is um, Drop City, which is one of the first uh, communes, I think it was 1967, which was inspired by Buckminster Fuller and his geodesic domes, and people trying to live a more free future where they could grow their own food, live on their own terms. And I think while a lot of these um, projects didn't make it, and there was, there was a lot of flaws in there, I think the philosophy behind it, I think is very important. So why I'm not directly saying we should all go off and live in communes and and, and radicalise things. I just feel it's a, it's, a, it's a way of thinking about things which should come back to the forefront. And how could we reevaluate these types of philosophies you know, for today's world? The, the climate crisis, the climate disaster, which, which is you know, only going to get worse, we've been talking about this for 50 years or, or longer. I think we just need to really re-look at us as, as living organisms, as human beings, and say, okay, we need to really radically change our behaviour and that doesn't mean okay looking for these new things that have never existed before, new technologies, it means to going back to the fundamentals of being a human being, of doing things which by default should be sustainable. I think the easiest way just to get us all going is as individuals start consuming a lot less and do, do more with less. If we all get behind that philosophy and stop constantly buying single-use plastic products and various other things that we know are killing the planet, then that, that is at least a start, what we do in our daily lives, and then we can look at the bigger picture and say, how can we then take this even further?